I seriously think people wait to start like mowing their lawn, cutting their shrubs, freaking winterizing their decks until I start filming. Like, why? Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we are doing two looks using the Tati Beauty palette. We're gonna do a day to night look. So if you haven't seen my last video, I did a very in-depth video on this palette and how I make it work for my very hooded eyes. As you guys know, if you have hooded eyes, glitters, especially chunky glitters, can be challenging. So I go in-depth in that video on how I make this work for my eyes. So make sure to check that out. But today, we're doing a very simple day to night look. You guys said you wanted to see more looks with this palette and I love that so I am here to do it. So if you are interested in seeing a couple of looks, one very natural, one a little more glam, go ahead and keep watching. You want to know something that's super funny? I was playing with this palette the last like five days. I looked over and George had glitter on his body. So if you are using this palette, just know your animals, your friends, your family, they're going to have glitter on them. <laughs> All right, so I've already primed the lids. I used my Anastasia eye primer like I did in that last video. Go watch that video. I give you guys so many tips and tricks into how I make this palette work, but I did not set my eye primer. And as you can see, my lids are even more dry than they were last time. So again, keep all of that in mind as we go through this. I have dry lids so that might affect the blending a little bit, but I do not set this primer because the shadows show up so much more pigmented when you don't. If you did want more of like a natural look, go in and set it and the shadows won't show up so pigmented. So just a little tip there. I'm gonna start with Soothe Matte. I'm not gonna like show the palette every time I do this. I think you guys kinda know what this palette looks like by now. So Soothe Matte and we're gonna go ahead and put that on the outer corner here and then we're gonna work it into the crease nice and lightly. So just make sure every time you dip into pigment you're kind of, you know, really working off that excess. So it doesn't go in too heavy. Since this is a day look, we want it to be really nice and sheer. So as soon as I dip, I really kind of go like this and then I start closest to the lid where I want the most pigment. And then once I have pretty much most of the color off, I'll then kind of carry it right into the crease. And again, keep in mind what's natural for me might not be natural for you. What's natural for you might not be natural for me. Everybody has a different kind of threshold for what's natural and what's not. So you can always just kind of ease up on everything too if it was too much for you. And just as a rule of thumb, when you want less pigment, really kind of ease up and pull your hand back on the ferrule of the brush that way. Like the closer you are, obviously, you're gonna go in a little more heavy handed. So as you kind of work your way into the crease, just ease up, pull your hand back, and then start blending. All right, so once you've built that up to a point you like, I'm gonna go in and deepen the outer corners a little bit more. So I'm dipping into Matte Ritual, which is the deepest brown in the palette. And I'm taking that on this tiny little itty bitty matte brush. The number rubbed off, so I'm not sure what it is, but I'm just gonna deepen the outer corner a little bit. You could totally skip over this if this was too much for you, but I just really like the depth here. So very lightly, I'm just gonna kind of start in the outer corner where we want it the darkest and just start feathering that in to deepen the look. Just kind of adds a little dimension, which I like. Again, Theo is starting to take a bath right in front of me and I'm sure those little licky sounds are super annoying. So we're gonna go ahead and place him to the side, but he just loves to sit in front of the camera. He could sit here all day. Huh? I always end with like a kiss. I don't know why. Well, I know why, because I love them. <laughs> so dipping back into Matte Soothe, now I'm gonna use that to just blend everything out. So I didn't work too hard on blending Matte Ritual. I feel like these words, like I start to kind of stumble on my words because it's two names and I'm used to one, but I'm just gonna use Matte Soothe to kind of work that Ritual Matte out. And then stepping into my Morphe M507, I'm just gonna blend the edge. I'm just taking a little bit of matte story, like very lightly and using that to kind of blend out this edge right here. Cause I just want a little bit of warmth there. I like that a lot. I think it helps with the 
matte ritual shade just to kind of blend it out but I'm just keeping that right here. I'm not carrying that into the inner corner. All right, so now that we've got Soothe, a little bit of Ritual, and just a touch of Story in the crease area, I'm gonna go into Aura Sequin. I think that the sequin shades show up a little more pigmented, which is why I like them more. Sequin has a little bit of glitter in it, and Tati does recommend going with your finger for that, so there's not so much like glitter fallout, because there is when you start to blend it with a brush, but I want to use a brush because I want to be really direct with my placement. I'm going to basically place this everywhere I haven't placed any color, and then we'll blend it right into Soothe and Ritual. You could go in with Aura Matte if you wanted to. I just really like the sequin shade, so do whatever you want here, and I'm just going to place this right over the primer where we have no color and they are so pigmented you could see that like since this is a day look I, I probably wouldn't like cut your crease to do this and it's really not necessary because they are so pigmented but you could do whatever you're comfortable with I'm just gonna kind of like feather that over into soothe and ritual and then we'll go back in with that small brush and kind of you know like blend them together this kind of reminds me of the deer look I did for Halloween a little bit. It's kind of the same style and I really like it. When I did that in that video, I knew I wanted to continue doing it. So I'm really happy. I'm kind of playing with it with this palette. So I don't want to blend quite yet. I want to go back into that tiny brush, take a little bit of Soothe. You could even go into Soothe Sequin. I'm using Soothe Matte. But if you wanted to go into Soothe Sequin, you could do that too. That just has a little bit of glitter and again, it's a little more pigmented. So now I'm just going to kind of like tap right over the edges here to make sure everything is nice and blended. Okay, and now again with a brush that doesn't have much product on it, this is the MAC 222. I'm just going to feather over the edges super lightly just to make sure everything is really nice and blended. Don't add any product here, otherwise it's going to deepen it too much. Alright, so I'm super happy with that. So again, going into Matte Ritual. Now I'm just going to use that to kind of apply like a little bit of a liner. Mostly focusing that on the outer, eh, I'd say like half. You can see I have a little bit of eyelash glue left over there. But I'm, that's where I'm pretty much going to pull it down. So like halfway through. And we're just going to feather that right into the outer corner where Ritual Matte has already been blended out. So I'm just kind of like flicking up as I get to the outer corner. Because we want to keep things really soft. Just like that. Okay, so super happy with that. So what I'm going to do is pop off here, do the rest of my makeup. I'm not going to apply any lashes since this is a daytime look. I'll just apply my mascara. I'll leave all the rest of those details down below if you're interested. I just want to keep this about the eyes and then we'll come on here and we'll turn this into the nighttime look. So I'll be right back here with the rest of my face on. All right, so I finished everything up. Like I said, I'll leave all those details down below, but let's go ahead and work on this lower lash line together. So as you can see, I already finished this eye. We're keeping it super simple. I'm just taking a flat liner brush and I'm dipping that right into Soothe. I don't want to smoke this out at all. I really just want to kind of keep flush with the lower lash line and then hold your mirror up when you do this so you can really kind of access that lower lash line. And I'm just going to take this from outer corner all the way to inner corner. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Ritual and deepen the outer corner just a touch. And then you always want to make sure you connect with the outer corner here. And I'm just taking my Anastasia, I think this is the number 12, with Matte Ritual. And I'm just taking that really close, right about a third of the way in. And I always just kind of mesh the edge a little bit with the flat liner brush, just so everything is blended but not smoked out. And then on a pencil brush, I'm taking Aura Metallic, and I'm going to pop that right on the inner corner. This is such a stunning inner corner highlight. You need the tiniest bit and it's a very wet looking highlight. It is so pretty. 
And then I'm just gonna pop a little bit of my mascara on the lower lash line and the daytime look will be done. All right, I finished up the lower lash line mascara and I did put on a little bit of a gloss. I will leave all that information down below once again if you wanna know what's on the rest of my face, but we are done with this daytime look. I think this is so stunning. I wanna wear this all day long. It just kinda emphasizes your natural features, your eyes, but you still look alert and awake and we really just used three shadows for the most part. We went in a touch here and a touch there with other shadows, but you can always feel free to tailor this to what you're comfortable with as well. What's natural for me might not be natural for you. What's natural for you might not be natural for me. So this is the completed daytime look and I just think it is so pretty. I wanna leave it all day, but let's go ahead and turn this into a nighttime look. I have to put my hair up when I do these videos for some reason. I like if I'm doing my makeup and I'm not on camera, I don't have to put my hair up. But for some reason, when I'm on camera, I have to. So first thing we're going to do, this is going to be super simple. We're going to take Soothe. I'm taking this on a small blend practic brush from Sigma. And we're just going to start to deepen the crease area because we're going to darken the lid area. So this is going to be super simple because we've already got the base for like the blend, right? So we've already got this blended out, so we're just gonna kind of deepen things up. So taking this from day to night is gonna be so super easy. So I'm just kind of going a little more heavy handed into Soothe Matte and deepening up the crease. Try to not take it up to where you've already, see how you can just see it's kind of deepening and adding some more depth. Try not to take it too far up because you still want that nice blend and that'll just make it easier for everything to look like it's going darker to lighter. I'm actually switching over to a more precise blending brush. This is a MAC 222, just so I can really kind of get right in my actual kind of crease. Stanley also just joined us. Stanley hasn't actually been on camera for quite a while, so let me give you guys a little glimpse of Stanley. I know some of you, if you've been with me for a while, have seen Stanley, but this is Stanley. He was my firstborn. I got him about five years ago. He has anxiety. He takes Prozac every day, but love Stanley so much. He has a very, very special place in my heart. And just keep in mind, guys, as I go through this, you can apply what I'm doing to any of these color stories. So I don't normally play with black shadows. That's very, very unlike me, which is why I want to do it with this palette. So feel free to use the color stories that go in a column or the color stories that go in a row. Do anything you're comfortable with. Okay, so now that I've deepened up those creases, I'm getting a little Stanley hair on my nose. Every time I touch an animal, hair ends up on my face, but I'm gonna go into matte memory. I'm grabbing that same small matte, MAC brush, matte, MAC memory, too many M's here. And I'm just gonna now start to deepen the outer corner exactly how we did with Ritual. I'm just deepening it with matte memory now. And yes, I would love to be doing this without my base makeup on, especially because we're going in with a glitter, but the truth of the matter is, if you're taking this look from day to night, you're not gonna be taking off your base makeup as well. So I'm just gonna try to show you guys how this will look with your base already on. You could definitely apply a little bit of uh, powder under your eyes if you wanted to, to kind of help offset that, but I'm just gonna try to, you know, be very careful. Taking Matte Ritual, I'm just gonna work that right next to Matte Memory to kind of help with the blend. I'm really just kind of like patting, pressing. I'm not working too much on the blend yet. Sigma E33, just gonna blend the edges now. Not adding any color. These mattes are extremely spreadable. You can like really kind of smoke that out and blend it and leave it like that if you wanted to in all honesty. But I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into Metallic Memory. And this is like almost like a blue kind of shade. And I'm gonna start to work that on my finger right over the metallic aura shade. 
I will end up switching over to a brush just so I can really get the right placement. Just dipped into matte sequin. Be careful. So you can see I am getting a little bit of fallout, but I'm not going to touch that until I'm ready to kind of wipe it away. It's a really pretty shade. It's like a gunmetal shade. Now very, very lightly, do not press into your face when you do that. You really lightly just wanna kinda of like swiftly sweep away any fallout. And I'll just kinda of do that throughout. But I am gonna grab another brush and I'm gonna spray it with a setting spray and dip right back. Ooh, I just ate that a little bit, not good. I'm dipping back into metallic memory and I'm just gonna kind of build that up a little bit. And I'm keeping that pretty much where my natural crease is. I'm not going much higher than that. Okay, so now that I've got the Memory Metallic shade, I'm just taking my MAC 222. I'm not putting anything on it. I just wanna kind of use what I pick up as I go into the corners to blend. And I'm gonna kind of bring that in and just diffuse the heart. It's not a harsh line, because I went in and like slowly added, because I didn't wanna have to like blend like crazy, which is exactly what you wanna do with these. Again, go in and watch my video if you haven't. And I'm just gonna kind of work the shadow around to blend everything out. And then I'm gonna grab that small little MAC brush once again, dip into matte memory, and deepen these outer corners a little more just to add some dimension. And then I'm also, I already did it on this side, I'm also taking that right under the eye like this. I know I'm kind of like doing this in interesting steps like I'm kind of jumping around but that's because I've already got like the base laid out so I'm just kind of adding slowly and yes there is a little bit of fallout under my eyes that we will try to work away but I'm just adding that to like the outer half see how that just kind of brought that depth back into the corners that's what I want but I do want to make sure when I do that I go back in with the matte metallic you could even take a little bit of sequin if you wanted to and work that right on the edges to blend it into memory metallic. Beautiful, I love this. And I have not done anything with a matte, and I know some of these, not matte, black. I keep calling the word black matte like I was calling glitter glimmer in the last video. I haven't done anything with a black shadow in such a long time, but this is just gorgeous. I'm just blending now, so I'm going to take a little bit of time to make sure everything looks blended. It's the key here, guys. Blend, blend, blend. Did you guys watch YouTube when Corin Xander was on here? That was like when I fell in love with YouTube so much and his whole like mantra was blend, blend, blend. It's a good one. I'm going to take a little bit of matte ritual and I'm going to work that right under matte memory because now I'm cool with like smoking it out a little bit more because this is a evening look so we took matte memory and I'm just kind of stamping right below and working that in and then I'm going to take a little pencil brush and we're going to blend. I don't want to make it like extremely smoky but I do want to make sure that everything looks cohesive so with my pencil brush I'm just going to blend it. This is so pretty. You could leave it like this. I think this is stunning. Blending out that lower lash line just really ties everything together. We are going to put some black in the inner waterline, upper and lower, but we're going to go in and do it, you guys. Trust me here. We're going to take a little bit of glitter. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of fallout on your face. That's just how it is. I just pressed down once into memory glitter, and we're going to go basically right over the metallic memory shade. So I, I don't want to go in and like really chunkily add this. Chunkily. I just made that word up. But I just want to kind of touch right over to add a little bit of glitz and glam. And yes, I know there's going to be fallout. 
but it just kind of like elevates the look a little bit especially over the blacks I think it's really pretty and that's really all I'm gonna do there I don't want to add any more than that so I'm gonna go in and do the same thing to the other eye and it really kind of adheres most to where you press down first so press down in the center and then work your way across. And these spread really well too. Ooh, so pretty. All right, I don't wanna blend that anymore. I don't wanna do anything. So I'm just gonna clean up the fallout from the glitter. And yes, there will be fallout that is just gonna be on your face a little bit. But I will say, you guys asked me a lot. I've got a bit of fallout there that's making it look a little dark. But you guys were asking me how the glitters wear. I, I said this in the last video, but they really do do a good job of staying put once you press them onto the lid. But yes, there are gonna be little flakes of glitter that fall down throughout the day. It's glitter, that's just how it is. So I'm gonna go off camera and I'm going to kind of deepen my contours a little bit to make everything look a little more like nighttime appropriate. I'm gonna add some lashes. I'm gonna take some black on the inner waterline and then I'll be back here with the finished look. But this is so pretty. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy I stepped outside of my comfort zone with this. I was so nervous about playing with blacks, but this is gorgeous. So I'll be right back here with everything on. All right, you guys, I went ahead and deepened up the base a little bit. I'll leave all those details down below. I'll leave like daytime look, nighttime look, so you guys can see like what I added. But I also threw on this little earring. I will add that down below as well. It's from Etsy and I always get questions on it, but I cannot stop looking at myself in my iPad because I think this is so gorgeous. I don't know what I like better, the daytime look or the nighttime look. I like wanna go out and do nighttime things right now, but it's 8.45 in the morning and that's not appropriate. <laughs> uh, I also like drink and chug coffee when I film these videos. So by the time like lashes come around, since I haven't eaten, Stanley might sneeze 18 times. Okay, looks like he's got it under control, but by the time lashes come around, I'm like shaking to get my lashes on, but I think this is so stunning. There is a little bit of fallout, but I haven't gotten a lot of glitter fallout, so I think if you've been struggling with the glitters in the palette, I think the formulas just kind of differ from shade to shade, so I find that memory glitter works really well if you're having like a lot of fallout, and it, it kind of just stamps on a little bit better, but check out my other video if you haven't seen that yet and I go into detail about all that stuff but that is it for this one you guys I hope you found this video helpful tag me on Instagram if you recreate or create a look from this palette I want to see what you guys do I'll leave my Instagram right here my animals are all over my Instagram story I leave my actual like feed makeup related and I will always let you guys know on there when I post a new video because Sometimes YouTube lets you know and sometimes YouTube doesn't let you know so I will always let you know on there So please subscribe if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me Otherwise, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye